Yo, hello there, my delicious eggs. I hope you're doing beautifully well. It's your boy, Mikey Mega Mega, live and back at it again with another episode of Let's Play Elden Ring, the walkthrough long play playthrough series. Maybe you're watching on YouTube, in which case, click like, click subscribe. Thanks for vibing along with the VOD channel. Join us live on twitch.tv forward slash Mikey Mega Mega if you're ever in the mood. They55, Artsy Wolfie, Gem Blackform, Emmeline, Rubota, other devil you lovely people doing. Extreme, maybe? Welcome on in. Guys, we have in the last episode. Finally defeated the Upside Down. Yes, it's Stranger Things Season 2. Finally done. Electric Boogaloo. And now we have the road to victory just here. We had a little save here at the end of the last episode. Is... What are we even doing? Is a tower. Now, I'm assuming we have to go to this tower that's going to allow us to somehow continue up here. But basically, uh, I'm more powerful than ever before and we're just cracking through. I might actually get on the dog if this is a bit long. How the devil are you guys doing? It is a gentle Friday afternoon live stream. We're taking it easy and relaxing. How's the day at your end? By the way, I did mention this at the end of the last episode, but this is one of the very first times we've been on the world map. And the view of the Erd tree is actually obscured by smoke. So, like, is that a visual representation that we're entering the darker parts of the game? Obviously, there's a very turbulent, undulating cloudscape. Uh, that usually means that there's really fucked up levels of pressure underneath the clouds, which is the precursor to a big thunderstorm. Usually see them in summer. Hey, all. For Alice. Alice, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, vivacious Alice is always checking out the VODs. Alice, maybe it's time to go to sleep instead. Go on. This video will always be here. Oh! There's a... Oh, he's... He's, he's like a, um, a butcher. I didn't know what I was looking at for a minute. Oh, he's a rapier butcher. Oh, is that faces? Wait a minute. I thought that was a leather apron. He, wait, is he, got, is he a lizard person covered in skin? Is he a lizard person with human faces? Anyway, enough about uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Hey, too easy. Come on, where's the... No, no, this one. Uh, yeah, let's do some uh, quick step, shall we? Oh. Oh. I should probably stay inside that. Insta-death. Oh, this guy's horrible. Is this the quality of the bad guys going from now on? He's very saggy. He's very, uh, puts the lotion on its skin. Do you know what I mean? That was the trick, right? You starve, you get, you feed them until they're, I'm talking about how to treat women. You feed them until they're a little bit plump. Only a little bit. Then you put them in the pit and you starve them whilst you make them rub the body cream on. And that's how it gets easy to take off all the skin because it gets really saggy. Anyway. Thanks for joining the stream. For this and more good tips on dating, follow me on a, God, what was our dating advice again? I can't remember what it was. Let's call it the 10 rules of Mikey Mega Mega, how to be a man. Number one, feed them till they're plump. Wait, how many uh, souls do I have? Oh, I had none anyway. Oh, it's not like I lost anything. Okay, well. I'm going to be honest, you're not the only person who can throw magic. Uh, uh, actually, you're getting a bit close. Could you... uh? Now, I do have some pretty cool shit. Oh, look, he's gone behind a little balustrade. He knows I'm about to get magic on him. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. My bad. Just a little tickle. Hmm. Doesn't do a huge amount of damage. Maybe Glintstone's really unaffected against these bad guys. That man is a godskin noble. Whether that's Godskin or God's kin, I have no clue. He's a Godskin noble. Wait, is this a boss? Yeah, he's got black flame magic. Mate, I haven't seen black flame since I was using it. We're in black flame territory. Oh, he's got a twofer. Uh, 
Whoa. Okay, maybe I just need to jab in and out a little bit more. What's going on? Yeah, oh my god, that is a giant face and the mouth has been stitched and trimmed to be the hood and the rim. Don't give dating advice. I give great dating advice. Technically. F for one date. I give great dating advice if you only expect to go on a date once. If you expect to have a second date, it's not so good. Mikey, what's your best pickup line? Like, are your legs tired because you've been running through my mind all day? Ooh, I like that one. I'm a really big fan of, hey, did you fall from heaven? Because it looks like you landed on your face. I find it's quite a good one. Do you know what? I, I, I genuinely had a good one that was appreciated once. Uh, we went to see... Uh, I went to... Actually, of course, it's down the local. We had a band at our local pub, like a cover band. Um, that was like, you know, blaring out 80s hits and stuff. But the lead singer on the cover band was like this kind of like hot punk chick. And so when they finished, they like immediately started packing up their shit. And I went over and I was just like... <laughs> I was like, hey, that was really great. Can I buy you a packet of peanuts? <laughs> she was like, yeah. <laughs> so I walked her over to the bar and I got her some peanuts instead of offering her a drink. That was like, that was like the smoothest I ever was. After that, I had no game. I was just like, wow, I really liked your singing. <laughs> That's it. That was the one time I had any kind of a... Uh once you get one now do, can i just go past this guy i don't necessarily need to defeat him i don't really have like a complex about this sort of stuff what if i use other types of magic then as well like how's he against my other alchemies Woo! getting a bit joggy <laughs> not in the face Money maker. Oh, I don't like it when he jogs in. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a bit more combaty with this guy. All right, let's get the sword back out. We'll get a bit one to one. Could you not throw that in my face whilst I'm drinking my juice? Hmm. It's a bit of a bugger, this guy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'll focus this time. Okay, so guys, as I mentioned, I've barely woken up. This is our warm-up. Now we're here for a good chill evening. Have you guys got any good pickup lines? What have you guys used that's genuine? Not like, ooh, that sounds really good when I read it on Reddit. What have you actually guys ever used that's been successful? I heard of a... Wasn't there like a YouTuber? I don't know if it's like a... If he's a, a YouTuber. But I saw like a, a clip thing. It might have been on Daily Dose to be fair. And a guy was going to bars and he was like buying ladies drinks. But he was getting them tap waters. So he was like, yo. Uh, this is uh, from the gentleman at the other end of a bar. And the girl's like, is this, is this a water? <laughs> the guy's just like... <laughs> I thought, always thought that was quite funny. You were like, hey, want some nuts? Absolutely. Getting a girl food instead of drunk is kind of a classy move. Well, we everyone was pissed off. Wait, we were all pissed out of our minds. It was like, it was at the end of the night of a band doing a load of cover songs uh, in a packed pub. It was really rowdy. <clears throat> Maybe running past him is a move. Okay, I'm going to run past him the time after, the time after next. I have a joke an ex-boyfriend told me. What do life and penises have in common? Girlfriends make them hard. Ah, oh, no, that's alright. Uh, that's alright. Are you lightning? Because you're my queen. <coughs> Can someone time out Emmeline? Wait, is he gone? He's not even here now. Oh, there he is. 
Oh, it's really rude. Okay, don't lock onto him. Oh my god, we should lock onto him for the love of Jesus on our cross. Alright. No, no, it's really long range. Ooh. Okay. Right, let's try this again. Hmm. Hmm. What is down there? Maybe I can just pass him. We're going to give this one more go, but for realsies, if I actually can just go past him, we will just live our lives and be happy. I'm not even sorry. Hey, ah. Uh, it's a family stream, mate. Is this Journey 1? Uh, Zaintonium, as in uh, my first playthrough. It is Journey 1. Journey one, I like that. That's what you could say to someone who's never been reincarnated. It's their karmic first go round. Ah, journey number one, I see. Welcome on in. Welcome to the lobby. Ooh, not again! Why do we play these games? Bruce? Why do we play these games, Master Bruce? What's a good side to uh, He's got quite a few combos, and I don't really have enough... He swings quite a few times, and I don't necessarily have the rolling to keep up with it. So I'm going to get my shield out. And I'm going to see if a little bit of a, a combination of rolling and shield action might actually be a good way to go. I could get out a different weapon. Maybe I should use some more of that long-range glintstone magic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work him over a little bit more with my bow from a distance. I mean, that's why it's fair. That's why I'm a glintstone god. Starting to think that I'm a glint god. Glint god. Because all my glintstone magic is glint hard. Glint hard. Yeah, he wants to tickle with me one to one. Doesn't have that Mikey Mega Mega distance, though. Doesn't know about the good stuff. Ah, right, there we go. There we go. He might be out of range now. That's a little bit out of range. <laughs> he tricked me. Cheese market. Hey, love it. Oh, this is much easier. I should have done this a million years ago. Oh, I'm out of juice. A guy making a horrible, offensive, nervous pickup line, full in the know that he failed, but makes it worse for the banter, will always, always get my number. Really, Empatics? You'll take the, you, you'll take the attempt mixed with the uh, self-awareness of failure and bullying through it regardless for the fun of it. Oh, what's he doing? Nothing pleasant. He's just showing off now. Oh, Jesus! I didn't realize he could go this far. He never went this far in the arena before. Go away! <laughs> oh, that tricked me. He's never come this far down the passage before, so I thought we'd found his natural limits. But it looks like he was playing me for a fool. He was doing that bit where Sasuke fights the dude with the um, Cunnilingus fingers. You toothpick glintstone won't even come close to the power of his black flame spell. Oh, wow, you're a big black flame crew over here, huh? Big on the blackie. Okay. All right, well, let's go in hard. I'll go back to traditional. 
One sword, one dream, plus a shield. Actually, I might even get the mace out, because the mace swings quite quickly. No, it does no damage, though. I'd like to be able to hit him today. Ah, fuck it, let's go. Oh, Jesus! I don't have quick step. Just remembered. Don't have quick step with the mace. Here. All right, let's get the sword back. Let's get the sword back. This is our last time. We are, I promise to God, just going to go down the other end of the hallway. Let me just have one quick go. Back with the sword. And then we will, uh, you know, we'll do the thing. We'll... Guys, thank you very much for even putting the stream on today. Happy Friday. You have all made it to the end of your week. I hope you're all feeling proud. I'm proud of all of you. But I'm also quite tired. So we're having a nice sleepy little Friday. Sleepy little stream. Sleepy little bit of Elden. Hey girl, if you... Hey girl, if you were fruit, you'd be a fine apple. Because I'm allergic. But for you, I'd hope my jizz tasted nice. got a tailspin. Hoop! Hoop! Need health! Hoop! No! Move! Move! Ah la! Ah la 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 la! I want to come around on his... Oh Jesus! His sword arms side, right? <laughs> nah, maybe not. Let's get the air uh, shield out. Let's try to do a counter. Oh good, no range! No, no range, no range. Let's try that again, closer. Yo, welcome on in, Raiders. Hope you're having a lovely evening. My name is Mikey, an illustrator from England. Maybe most of you lovely people from Miss KTB's side already know that. Please, on the other side of your screen, please partake in viewing upon some anime waifus and the vague results of my main work, the drawing of the hotties. We are just relaxing on a... We are relaxing on a fine Friday trying to play Elden Ring. This is my first time coming across a godskin boy. And uh, it's got quite a lot of reach and it's quite tenacious... Bad attitude. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Hey, I love your YouTube videos. They're so helpful. Uh, what boop? Thank you so much for saying. Welcome on in. Miss KTB, how the devil is your day? Kill the chunky one. Yes, Miss KTB, yes. How the devil are you doing, you lovely thing? Hope life is treating you well. Oh. Oh, what's that? Oh. Oh, there's some guy on the telephone. Oh, what's that? I better take this. What's that? Hello? Oh, your Royal Highness, Her Majesty the Queen. How you doing? But didn't they inter your body in a crypt? What's that? No, your Royal Highness. Everybody in my chat has been cursed. You infidel! An evil curse from beyond the royal grave. A decrepit hand of the ring bearer has reached forth into my chat and laid waste to people's futures. <gasps> They've only got seven days to live. But the only way to lift the curse is to click on Ms. Katie B's name in chat. Click on her stream and give her a follow. I'll tell them. I'll tell them, Your Royal Highness. How is it down there? Very warm. I thought it might be. Alright, I'll see you later, you love. Yeah? Alright, bye. Sorry. Yeah, like I was saying, go uh, go check out Miss KTP's stream. 
She's a good egg. My legs hurt. I stood up for four hours in vaginas. Hey, good for you, man. I mean, this is a family stream, but whatever works for you. Snow of a shy kitsune. Welcome on in. Hey, guys. Hope you're having a lovely day. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are just vibing playing Elden Ring. I'm actually going to fight this guy one more time. Just one last go. Um, we have recently done an upside down tower over here. And now we're heading over to this tower to continue the game. But there's just this little dude here and uh, I'm just having a little dance with him from time to time. We're going to do a tiny bit more dancing and then we're going to crack on with the rest of our day. I actually have to get off my horse quite early. Otherwise he does that. I'll use Bloodhound for that one next time. Ah, and I'm dead. Okay, let's just ride past. Now we're going to ride past on the horse. Check out what's going on the other end. Hey, Empatix. How you doing, by the way? I just followed because I fear hell. Yeah, good for you, man. I also want to avoid the gateways of hell myself. It's 3 a.m. in Australia. Time for bed. Yo, whoop. Have yourself a bloody good evening. Thank you very much for vibing in on that raid. Look after yourself. Miss KTB, what did you do on stream today? You stood up, but you stood up in what context? Did you stand up for your rights? Did you fight for your right to party? Were you doing VR art? Were you in VR chat? Tell me all about it. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. Adieu, adieu, to you and you and you. Goodbye. I'm picking up a lot of uh, ruin fragments. I hope that's okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, my friends, the Divine Tower of Leonia. Let's go. What's that dripping down from the ceiling? Or is that just ambient black wisps of magic? Oh, it's beautiful here. So these fragments eschew the walls like it's some kind of concrete you find by the seaside mixed with loads of shells and stones from the beach. A wonderful flaming place. A tundrous lift, ancient carved stone, an altar, a flaming shrine to Zoradamfor. No markings, no words. Look, there's that fat bastard all the way down there. I can see him through the doors. Yeah, see you later. We chilled in VR and just talked. That's what I do most of the time now. Oh, you just vibe. Hey, good for you, man. That's awesome. I like a good vibe. Ooh, where are we going? My ascension is almost complete. I'm breathing. Empathics, that's what most of you can say. I'm breathing, and I will take breathing as a win. Have you eaten anything nutritious? Uh, I had a burger and some salad. And some cheese and a ripe tomato. Thank you. Uh, and as part of chilling out today, I shall eventually open a really big packet of uh, Walker's Max Crisps. Uh, they're coming in the post later tonight. Delivery. Uh, paprika. So I'm going to have some crisps. But I'm going to treat the crisps like nachos. I might melt a load of cheese over the paprika crisps. Because they're thick and ridged. Ah, Fenrir. I've actually got... I've, I've got literally like one little five-pack block of Malwam left. Uh, and all the other Malwam I got sealed in the gift boxes. So I can't open them. That's the, the only reason I haven't eaten them. Is because they're, uh, they're for other people. Which never stopped me before. But because these are properly sealed as opposed to just in packets. So yeah, I need to learn to let the Malwam go. Now don't get me wrong... There's actually the Malwam do little pinballs. And you can buy an entire packet of only blue Malwam pinballs. And those things are an intense hit of flavor and sugar. So I'll probably buy another one of those before I quit. But overall, I'm trying to reduce my Malwam intake. Thanks for asking. Hey, thanks for remembering and thanks for asking. I appreciate that. 
Well done, I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can't open them, he says. Well, yeah, well, they're, they're for two people. Um, one of them's a live streamer, and the other one's one of my mods, so they're often in chat. So they keep an eye on me. <laughs> Whenever the, they know that I'm late posting them, the Malwam. So whenever I eat any sweets, they're just like that. Better not be my Malwam. And when are you sending these out along with the controller and tablet? Presumably? <laughs> Presumably, yes. Presumably, yes. Presumably, yes. The thing about going to the post office is you have to prep beforehand. You have to check addresses and put stuff in boxes. This is whole palaver. This is why I don't like dealing in physical media. Now, yes, I will absolutely do it eventually soon, one day, probably. But, uh, like, I just, I despise physical media or having stock or items in my house that I have to post. It's legit one of the worst things in the world for me. This is why when I start doing prints, we'll go with, like, imprint or something. Some third-party business who takes all the money but also does all the work. By the way, look at this wonderful map. Over there, we've got... Whatever that was. I think that's where we um, killed Godfrey, the um, Fallen. And then here was a big lake that led over to Rey Lucaria Academy. The marsh marshlands. And in front of it, the city that got sunk. Hey, I've just realized that's um, an echo of Dark Souls. In Dark Souls 1, there was an entire city of magic and stuff that got sunk when some catastrophe happened, right? And now it's full of ghosts. Do you not go out much? Um, I just don't like having to do stuff uh, which involves, like, this other people. Right so anything where, like, there's a client or a deadline or an expectation that someone wants me to do something for them, I actually despise it. And uh, my natural reaction is to just completely shirk it off. That and I don't get out of the house much. Hey, Among Chi, how you doing, man? Interesting, you're on so early. Are you sure this short stream isn't going to be all day? No, 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 I'm busy tonight. This is so pretty. I just love this game. I'm just looking down here. This isn't, this isn't the same causeway, is it? Unless there's two levels to that causeway? It is. It's the same one, but... From per God, this map is incredible. Sorry, I'm just really enjoying looking around. Yo, so what's this guy got over here? Does anybody feel like... This is some kind of ancient summoning place. And each one of these weird devices summons an otherwise dead or forgotten god from another time. Like, what are these stones? Are these warm burning fragments of a uh, meteorite? A curse mark of death. I've got a curse mark of death and a stargazer's heirloom. Ooh. Good for me. Good for me. What does this mean? Expectations. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to put it. Uh, like, I, uh, I, I, it's like, I'm sure there's like a psychological reason. But like, um, the moment someone expects me to do something to their schedule. Oh, he'll do this. My instant gut reaction is actually, fuck you, no, I won't do that. Like, honestly, like, it's so bad. It's so bad. Uh, right, so. Uh, well, we've done that. Okay, congratulations. Yeah, let's get this party started. Let's go, let's go over here and just, I'm assuming, just head up here now that we've done that. Also, there's another Erd tree over here so we could fight some bosses. There's the Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Who oh, we never fought the big guy. Also, there's the Walking Island. We both got that brat brain. Yeah. All Soulsborne games have maps that actually let you see the whole overworld. It's really cool. Yeah, it's insane, man. It's insane. Yo, Sir James. Welcome back, dude. About time you played this. Sir James, how the devil have you been? Tell me all about your month so far. Have you dealt with a lot of people abusing their power over you? Uh... Uh... I wouldn't say abusing. I mean, like, uh, I've worked in a lot of office environments, and uh, it's not uncommon that when you get promoted to a new position in your office, the first thing that, like, your boss or your boss's boss will do is they'll overload your work schedule. Um, 
that, that, that's like a business technique. They'll overload your work schedule for like a week or two. Literally just to observe how you cope with it. Like, do you just freak out? Do you delegate? Do you stay just an extra hour after work to wrap a few things up? Do you communicate it with other staff members or not? Um, so there's stuff like that where my, like, obviously I know to do the work, but like my gut reaction is literally just like, just because you're stressed out doesn't mean I'm stressed out. And when I've worked in like contact centers and stuff where they're just like, oh, this is our really busy period. All hands to the deck. Everybody on the phones. Call after call. Get your times right. I don't respond to that at all. I don't respond to that kind of pressure. So I'm just like, no, I will, I will take my calls and do them well. And then the moment I want to stop and go fetch a cup of tea, I will do that. So I'll like, if like it's a really busy season, everyone's on the phones, blah, 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 blah. Everyone's like, everyone around me is getting really stressed out. I will stop what I'm doing and I will just go offline. I'll go make a cup of tea and I will walk through the office whilst everyone's on their phones. And you're getting the side eye from all the team leaders. I oh, see, he's off, his he's off his phone. I'll just go make a cup of tea and come back. Like none of that affects me and none of that scares me. But then again, I'm also quite familiar with HR. So like uh, general threats or uh, uh, another meeting about unacceptable timekeeping. None of that stuff bothers me at all. I just find it, I find it funny when you realize how impotent it is. As private as fuck, I'm sorry. It was a very, like, I guess it was quite a private question, but I, I do, so contextually, don't worry, because contextually empathics, I understand why you were asking it. But like, uh, also for for all you new empathics, I might have been like, you know, sexually abused in the workplace. I mean, I wasn't. Right? I don't think don't think I was. But like, uh, but like, yeah, no, you're fine. Don't worry. But uh, yeah, I I definitely like be careful asking those kind of questions to random people. Mikey's girlfriend is like, yeah, he's so good in bed. He does this and that. And Mikey, the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, oh, you're expecting an orgasm. Oh, you, you just decided that's what we're going to do tonight. One orgasm for you, was it? The fuck? This bitch. Now, guys, I believe I have to land on here as opposed to climbing up here. So do I need to go down there and lure it over here? Then, jump up the windy causeway and land on top. In which case, where's that downdraft? Wasn't it like a downdraft? I'll get on the dog. Can I make that jump? But, no! 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 Not that one! Not that one! Not that one! I don't know. I was just going... No. Ah. See, I like, I was going to do a running jump and instead the horse insta just walked off the fucking thing. Oh, I don't like this game very much. Hey, Lizard, how you doing? Lizard, Lizard, are you, how many, Lizard, how many days are you into the never ending Lizard? The never ending Lizard stream. Na, 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 na. Day three. Veterinary bills Coming out of nowhere To make life so hard Doctors fill They drink up so much Of our resources My god Imagine there's a streamer Who does puzzles And is chill She's got a lovely atmosphere You can find it In a never ending Little stream Na, 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 na. Everybody go and follow Lizard the Tree Wizard. She's doing a never-ending stream. Okay, guys, does, where where was I in here? So, here. So see these rocks? No. See this. See this here, magic jumping. I need to lure this thing near those rocks. And I think it, it will try to go for me. But this might take like a few moments. We're just having a look for fun. Unless there's another way to do this. By the way, let me turn this down. Because that bell annoys the fuck out of me. So, somebody tell me if this is not the correct way to do it. But I'm going to lure him and then we're going to jump in. 
And then we're going to continue further on in the map. We've got the Crescent Moon Star tier thing. We've got the Stargazer's Majigger. We're doing really well. Nikki says hi. Oh, yo, hey, Nikki, wherever you are. Oh, Nikki's around Lizard's house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lizard, you were so excited about um hanging out with her. Yo, I hope you ladies are having a lovely evening. Or day or morning. He's turning away from me. Don't you turn your back on me! Yeah, boop. Yeah, boop. Almost Emily, how are you doing? I thought Liz was a crazy one today. What are you talking about? Yo, Sidious, thank you very much for the follow. How are you doing? Almost Emily as well. Hiya, welcome on in, guys. Hope you're having a lovely day. Stargazer Majigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The looking, the looking, the looking loo. No, don't go back. No. Come on. Oh, he's turning around. All right, I don't know how to do this. Does anybody know how I get up there? Is, is anybody familiar with this thing and its business? I think we might be here a while if I do it this way. No. All I can think of is the evolution of the film. Start hitting it. Oh, does this make it more aggro to me? Yeah, come on, I'm your enemy. Yeah, come get me. Come on. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. No, don't leave. It's going to take 15 minutes. Uh, I'm not waiting around for this. Look how far away that wall is. Oh my god. Imagine if it started sprinting like I would actually shit my pants. Yeah. Oh, you need a bow. Ah. Uh, I have a magic bow. I tried shooting a bow at its belt, but it didn't have any effect. I'll do it again just for just to make sure. It's one pound house life treating you, by the way. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's just go up here and follow. <laughs> let's just continue on with the game. Sidious Nova Eevee. Oh, wow. Nova Eevee. What kind of evolution is that? How the devil are you doing? Welcome in. How is your evening and how is your day? Yeah, teach him his... Ooh, teach him his boss. Go on, get him. Don't shoot the baby bell. Mate, some people are into that. You have to have a discussion first. Mm. Among she hated, by the way. Not yet. She just told me via text. Oh, oh, bless her. Wow. Tell her I'm excited to hear from her. All right, let's crack on. A warm welcome shot to the bells. Absolutely snog off. Who came up with that? Yeah, you can tell a lady designed this game, can't you? Mm. All that empowerment. <laughs> Come on now. Uh, I'm going to leave it. She's read my hands before. Come on. Let's enjoy the adventure. We've done uh, Radan. We fought um, the Rhea Lucaria lady. We're probably well into the mid game. What do we do and where do we go? Only time will tell. There's a wonderful church up there. Let's have a look up here. As if in. Lizard, what have you got planned for today? Oh, there's a mountain night. What are your live stream plans? What are your day plans? The thingy in the bell. Oh! Are you saying I should have I should have shot the knocker? The, the little clacker? Ah, okay, if we go back down, if I can, there's a bit of CBA kicking in, you see, 
If I can be asked. Oh, wait, it's a, it's a little site of grace down there. Oh, where does this little watery conduit go? It goes up to this weird kind of hole. <laughs> I'll stop talking. Let's go over here. Just give me something to slay. The Bellum Church. Oh, this is kind of mysterious. It just shoots off straight down, huh? Ooh, Sacred Tear. It's been a while since we had one of them. Oh, this is beautiful. I love all this. I love it when you go up and down a bit. It feels so much more real to kind of be navigating all these directions and ups and downs as well as just mapping your way around generic church spaces. Serious, have a lovely look. I'm doing well, says Amongji. Hopefully the office max by my place stays open until the 7th of October because they're going out of business and selling everything for 50% off. <gasps> oh, that's where you're going to get that scanner. Mate, you've been talking big about a scanner for two bloody weeks. But uh, yeah, that sounds like a great shout, dude. No clue, just a wild guess. Ah, got ya. What do you need? I don't want any trouble. <laughs> what are you buying? I would love some money, because I apparently don't have any. But hey, the important part is you're here. Yeah, I'm already on my way. Now, we've got two of the uh, glintstone miners from earlier. I'll quickly uh, ruin their day with a little bit of glinty. Standard traditional. No biggie. Oh, that almost nailed them. If I go up one more level, they'll be one hit kill. Kind of a big deal. Let's have a look down here. There's a lovely little stone bridge, a little causeway. What the fuck is that? Is that one of those sea anemone things? But it's kind of like a giant pulsing, breathing crab thing. Oh, there's a few of them. Big pulsing, breathing things. Hey, man. That's cool. You can be whatever you want to be. I don't judge. To the hole! I'm just saying hello to amazing streamers mm -hmm. for a little while whilst doing my makeup. Then I'm going to do some puzzles with my sister. And then a workout and then crafts and then some games. Is it? Have I ever seen your sister? Does your sister, like, uh, obviously protect your privacy? Um, does your sister uh, ever come on cam? I've, you, I've definitely heard you mention her before. But I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever seen another lizard. Pretty sure you need Rivali's Gale after beating the Divine Beasts. Wrong game. Yo, we're still technically playing that. Uh, we are reopening my uh, four or five year old Zelda Ocarina of Time save file. Uh, after we play uh, Spider-Man after we finish this. There is a wonderful knight here. A wonderful man. I will say hello the only way I can. Hello, good sir. Chivalrous knight. Friend of the people. Oh, Jesus, Lord. That's quite a lot of range. <clears throat> now I'll have the uh, not useful flask. That's it. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> That's one of my favorite glintstone abilities. The delay on that glintstone ability is everything. Cuckoo. Hello, Mr. Bond. Cuckoo. Uh, that's a bingo. <laughs> Yo, a cuckoo night helm. Thank you very much. Yo, hey, Torch, how you doing? Honestly, son, have you not had enough of this silly wee game yet? Would you not like to smile again? Yeah, yeah no, we will get back to Spidey. I just, how you doing, dude? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a spider over there. She does, not super often, but she's getting more and more used to it. Hey, you've dragged her into the 22nd century. Good for you. Those knights are not a friend of my people. Hey, that helm is sick. 
I know, it looks really good. I want to put it on, but it lowers my intelligence. Once I get my intelligence high enough, I, I might start swapping helmets again. But uh, we're kind of taking a hit. Okay, here's these gooey things. It's ejecting some poisonous mist, and I respect it for that. So I've gone down instead of up. I can't even open my map right now. I just want to have a quick look. What's it like to try to cut it? Oh, pretty easy, huh? Ooh. Okay. Did you get a thousand schmeckles for that? Mm, it's not enough. Not enough to make it worth farming. Ew, those buttholes are farting everywhere. They're so gooey and glorious. Nutritious with a rather baggy, windy air. Each one of them's got the flavour of a different fart. They're unique like that. They're wonderful. They're like a fingerprint. They're like a snowflake. I reckon there are two snowflakes that are alike somewhere in the world. It's a cold, wet day in Gem Swamp. Can't complain. Yeah, we, yeah, we're all having a nice, lazy one today. I'm having a super lazy Friday chill out. Lovely to have ya. Cold, wet Friday. Hello, good sir. Oh, smithing stones! Oh, level five smithing stones. I do believe that is exactly what I happen to want. Excuse me one quick sec. Table of the Lost Grace. Uno momento, por favore. Oh, what a if I go to the uh, smith. Uh, yeah, you take a stone uh, and make a, a magical scepter a little better. Well, I took you for no matter. It's all, it's all the same. Lay out your arms, Lay out your arms then. Oh, boo! I need four of them. I need four. Oh, I can upgrade my shield. Why? Let's have a look at that helmet. Mm. <laughs> it's very pretty. It's quite showy, isn't it? Yeah, I just don't think it's my style. It's not a million miles off my style, but it's not quite on my style. Oh, wait a minute. What does this sorcerer's hat do, by the way? No. Nothing gives me the intelligence bump that the uh, Twin Sage crown does. All right. Back we go. Back we go to our adventure. I just wanted to double check, but I couldn't turn that into goodies. But we need one more level five. Stony, stony. Ew. That was a beautifully descriptive something. I have no idea what I said. I'm so tired. But hey. Mikey's really into stones. Ah, uh, yeah. I love that crystal healing energy. Wait, are you guys not into crystal healing stones? Hands up in chat if you're not a crystal stoner. Now, we're obviously going to climb up. But before we do, I just want to look a little bit further around here. For example... It's one of these, uh... Wait, come back. Can I hear enemies? Oh! Ah! Where's the bats? Ooh, barbaric roar. Ugh. over here. Mm, it's so beautiful and weird. Have you guys ever been to like cave waterfalls and stuff? I went to um uh the uh 
those really big natural caves in Japan. Uh, Yamaguchi. That place is insane. Like, you just, you keep going underground forever and ever. And eventually there's a waterfall and you just come out the other end. It's so cool. Yeah. Is he knocking over trees? It involved gooey farts? That doesn't sound like me. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, it's gross. Come on, Jim. What, are you five years old? Let's go over here. All right, let's climb back up the thing. I totally have some crystals. Yo. Roaming Paladin. How you doing, then? Roaming, it was you. Roaming, I was talking to another user, Way55. We were talking about books. And then I was like, wait a minute. Wasn't I talking with somebody yesterday about books? I'm pretty sure it, the second I've seen your username, it's reminded me. How you doing, dude? Welcome back. All right, let's climb up. Mentally, I cycle between 5 and 60. Yeah, who doesn't, man? Who doesn't? Cycling is definitely the important word there. Like, uh, do not expect a consistent standard of responses or input from me, even if it's about the same topic on any different given moment of the day. Oh, the black hole is a mine. Oh wait, am I heading towards the mine now? Is this mine in the side of a cliff face, as opposed to underground? In which case, uh, <laughs> I smell smithing stones. Ooh, what's that? Oh yeah, it's one of these guys. Low year. Yes, one. They call it a mine. They call it a mine. In my day, you get the black lung. You have to go underground for 100 meters. You get the black lung covered in soot. You'd be seven years old and Queen Victoria would send you back again with a little canary. Nowadays, people got these luxury mines up in the side of cliff faces with wonderful views. Don't even know they're indentured, these people, do they? Look at them. Don't even know they're alive. Look at him. He's having the bloody time of his life, he is. Come on out of pickaxe. Ooh, level four. Close but no cigar. There's a lot of green goo. And crystal gems. <laughs> he says. Hello, sir. Let me help you. Smithing stone level four. Explosive stones. Oh, man. Just look at this wonderful... Little beam of light coming in here. It's a very pretty game. Can I get one for dog? No, not in here. Let's go up here. Na na na, Millwall. Na 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 na, na 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 na. Stop. Hey hey hey, Millwall. It's wonderful around here. I bet if you licked any of this, it would taste like chocolate mint. I bet this whole cave smells like a box of After Eight. Ah! That's all the After Eight mints. Oh, there's... Oh, I'm getting ganked by gobos. Who? Great evil has befouled this church. This is not a sanctified space. Ah, ganked! I'm getting ganked! I was about to glinty, and I got ganky. Ah. Ooh, the poison got me. Ooh. Okay. Well, we're gonna get we're gonna get jumped by a uh, little goblin people. You hush, you hush, you hear of that Millwall talk? You go home now. You hear? There's no place for you now here in Millwall. Now that all the guns are gone, you ride on. You hear? <laughs> You tell them <laughs> Millwall doesn't need any football teams anymore. Mikey, what sword are you using? Uh, it's my plus 12 Uchi Katana. Thank you very much. What sword are you using? Vivacious. What, what's your, uh, Vivacious, what's your setup build? Did you say you were going for Vigorous Big Swinger? Oh, 
We're even in London is Millwall. Ah, uh, this is the worst part. And term, no, Millwall only chat. If you can't name me a recent Millwall striker, don't bother talking in my stream. You'll only embarrass yourself. You embarrass yourself, son. No wonder this guy's in such a mopey vibe. There's loads of goblins ruining his mining. Oh, that wasn't quite as effective, but that's to be expected. Oh. Oh. Uh. Now, allow me to drink my defensive juice. My golden bell technique, my iron vest movements. Steve Morris. I oh, see Wolfie. You've got, you got to stop taking an interest in Millwall. It's a sickness. Hey guys, uh, how you doing? Guys, uh, welcome on into my super chill, low energy Friday stream. Uh, I'm streaming earlier than usual. I've woken up very late. I'm not a morning person. I'm very happy to see you. But we are just really just kicking it. Low energy vibes. Just getting cozy and screwing along. I'm going to make a fresh cup of tea soon. I've got some crisps coming in the post. I'll just get out there. I'll just get there. Yeah, take a little bit of easy. And then, uh, and then I've got to get shit done later. Now, this horrible little recalcient shall suffer my lightning love. Ah, good. Let's try that injury. Okay, one big faulty boy will do it. Lovely. It's just for high damage and difficult when they're in a group, I guess. They caught me on the back foot. But now that I'm aware, there's fun, love and thunder. It's not such a big deal. Ooh. Level four. Level four. I need one more level five. Oh, could you stop? Oh, good. Now I'm poisoned. Dickhead. Uh, inventory. Alleviates poison and cures poison. I would like to eat one of these, please. I, oh, there he is. I don't. I was going to say, where's the other one? I don't mind difficult mines, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to tolerate it if it's a poison mine. That's just too much bad juju. Apologies to headphones users, obviously. Uh, let's eat another one of these. I'm burning through all my things. I might get the sword back out for the moment. Other than the fact that I'm doing those poison traps, those boyos might respond to Bloodhound Step. It's funny, because I worked, when I worked in Liverpool Football Club, I asked a bunch of the people who were the worst football hooligans. And all of them just said Millwall, no question. Oh no, Millwall are like, they, they are the one. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, oh, oh, genuinely like, uh, Millwall football fans are the ones that, like, if if there's like a, a Millwall striker playing in uh, the Euro Championships or something, Millwall football fans are the ones that will have street fights in the middle of France with like uh, Russian extremists and the Spanish and stuff. Yeah, you, you don't want to get caught, mate. You don't want to get caught up in that vibe. Oh, more boyos. Hopefully, these ones are not goblin riddled and of a more passive variety. Golden runes, thank you. Ooh, no, don't be. No, 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 no. I know what that means in your language. That means fire. Don't do that. guy mm, I can hear um, a little magic uh, scarab someone I knew as a player and was working for West Ham during the Millwall Derby 
Oh, was that a, was that quite a riotous time? Not, not in the fun sense of the word. <sighs> Getting caught up in massive fucking crowd fights that have nothing to do with you is a nightmare. I remember once this. I remember once just going to the toilet in a pub, and whilst I was there just having a wee and living my life. Like, I remember when I went through, there was a lot of people standing around getting a bit aggro, but I was like, ah, fuck that. Whilst I was in the toilet, outside of the toilet doors, the aggro had turned into a big fight. And it was just like, it was proper rammed, though. Like, people were, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe in this kind of small area, of, and they were just bashing each other. And so there's this heaving mass of people shouting and yelling and fighting. And, like, uh, someone's opened the fire escape doors... And the pub staff were like, fuck off, get the fuck out. And I just come out, just come out from the toilet and the toilet door opened right into the middle of this fight. And I was just like, oh, what's, what's all this then? And I was just suddenly just getting jostled. I was just, wait a minute, <laughs> well, no, my table's over there. My, me and my mates were like on the other side of the pub in the garden. I was like, this is not the right direction. I got jostled outside with everyone. And so I was just in a fight outside. <laughs> I was just like, I was like, what? everyone's fucking fighting. You're like, and like, because the, the staff shut the fire fire exit once everyone got outside into the front garden. I was like, what the fuck is this? And then some dude I went to school with was just like, oh, hello, Mikey. And I was just like, oh, hello, so and so. We'll call him so and so. How are you doing? And he's just like, yeah, I'm all right. And then some other guy just came up and just like hit me on the side of the head. And I was just like, ah! And the first dude was like, Oi, you do not hit that man! And I was just like, yeah, cheers! <laughs> I'm going. I have no idea what's going on. I'm out of here. Yeah, I, went, I went back and I sat down with my mates. I just picked up my pint again. They were just like, oh, yeah. What was all that noise? I was like, yeah, there's a massive fight outside. Good times. Good times. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, it's another one of those goblins. I'm glad I... Uh, Runark, thank you. I'm glad I, I can hear them laughing. Oh, they were those sneaky cunts. They waited. They waited till I went all the way up there and got that rune arc. How dare they? Oh, Jesus. They're still there. I don't even know why I bothered. I shouldn't even be interacting with these things. Where am I? I'm, I'm somewhere wonderful. Crowd control is the worst. Do not miss security. No, you don't want to go near anything. Sounds like you handled that quite well. <laughs> well, I just... I got taken outside of the rest of them and then punched in the side of the head. And then I was just like, oh, I'm not hanging out. I'm not up for this. Yo, should we try that all again? Joys of getting caught up in spats you aren't part of, yeah. I will never forget this. This really, this, this stayed with me. This was in school. I was in school and at lunch breaks, because uh, we, we were so cool, we used to do stuff called Interform Rucks. So basically, our school was split into two bands. M band and K band and the idea was that you know if everybody in year seven year eight year nine blah as you grow up in M band is using the PE area and the science area then K band will be using the English area and the language huts and stuff do you know what I mean it's just a just a way to make sure all the kids are you can fit as many kids in the school and all that sort of stuff so there used to be a friendly rivalry between our two bands so whatever year you were in your band your enemy was the same year in the other band and they were all weird and different so we used to have Interform Rucks, which was basically when it was lunchtime and everybody was sitting around in their form rooms, some of the lads, if we were bored enough, we'd just go to someone else's form and we'd just like, we'd just wreck it. We'd just flip their tables over and chuck their chairs around. And usually there'd be people like we know who'd all be like on like the similar sports teams or shit. Uh, and we'd, we'd have like a little fight. And no, no one's like, no one's punching each other in the mouth and making them bleed. But you know, it's just like giving each other dead legs and like getting each other in headlocks and just kind of like pushing each other over. Just stupid shit to pass the time. 
One day, there was an interform ruck back in my form, and I wasn't even part of it. I was sitting in my seat, and the ruck spilled out to where I was. And so there was two lads on the floor just going at each other, and it was quite near where I was sitting. And a, a teacher came in, and she just goes, You, 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 and you, detention, see me afterwards. I was just like, ah, I'm a passive observer! <laughs> I was literally just like, in detention, I was like, I was just sitting in my chair. I was just sitting in my chair. I had nothing to do with any of it. You just pointed at me and gave me detention. And she goes, you were smiling. <laughs> you were smiling. You weren't stopping it. You were smiling. I was like, oh, man. Where's the justice? Where? Justice? Hashtag justice for Mikey. Pray for Mojo. <laughs> You know, man, I was just sitting there, and I wasn't like, egg who get him, get him. I wasn't egging them on or anything. I was just sitting there, just like, <laughs> dickheads. No, I just got this tension. So, that happened when I was about, f I don't know, 15, 14? I'm now a 37-year-old man, and I have still to this day remembered that. Mikey, what's the uh, birthday of the last person you're in a long-term relationship with? Dates aren't important. Dates aren't important. We can't be like that. Alright, I'm just going to run past these assholes. Classic teacher stuff. Yeah. When you're a teacher, you have to just paint with a relatively broad brush when it comes to stuff like that. Like, you can't try to define who is and isn't involved. And kids lie so good, so young. It's like, it's not even worth trying to talk to anyone. Just give people some detention vaguely in that area of a room. You're bound to have at least an 80% catch rate of giving detention to the right culprit. Can I just run away here? It's a it's a lift, right? There's one dude here on the lift. Ah, oh, I have to pull the handle. That's not amazing. I am not preparing the right magic every time I'm dealing with these guys. Where's my fucking glinty? There we go. Yo, oh, Jesus! I'm going to send this back down in a minute before I go off it. You just got a guilty look on you, you know? It needs to randomly be punished to keep you in line. Yeah, yeah. Well, to be fair, I was a bit of a cheeky... I was a bit of a cheeky bugger. So, you know... I was probably just paying a pro karmically, it was probably all even. Based on the amount of things I've gotten away with. This was in my phase where I was taking tables and I was... So the best way to affect a school lesson, I realised, wasn't like... Don't, don't ruin anything, don't be destructive, don't spray paint. I realised the best way to interfere with the productivity of a lesson was to simply remove the amount of tables they had. So this is when I was taking tables out of the art block and I was going into the tech block and I was cutting them up with the power saws. Just cutting up the school tables. <laughs> Nobody fucking stopped me. Because it's such a stupid, absurd thing to do. Everybody assumed you're supposed to be carrying the tables from one place to another. And then everybody assumed... He would just saw up the tables on the table saw. He must be doing that for a reason. Uh, <laughs> I mean, just fucking do shit. Just be a disruptive kid. That's the dream. I don't even know this, where this goes is. They're like rats, they get everywhere. God, the little goblin boys. Mate, can't fucking deal with them. Now let's get Glintstone Arc back out. There's one. Oh, good. I just seen another smoothing stone. Oh, they fucking... They properly go wide on either side of you. Let's click. Oh, my God. That lock on, lock off is so fucking annoying. Ah, I'm out of juice. I'm out of juice. God, there's always something in this goddamn game, innit? There we go. Little 
rats. A Volga militia helm. Oh, good to know. Here we go. I missed this. Level four. Level four. I'm glad we had to do this all again, to be fair. I didn't even go down there last time. I was too busy running away. Lightning grease. Such, such, oh, God, again. There's actually lots of options around here. Is that poison? Hit me. Yeah. La 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 Thank you for the good times. Please stop poisoning me. There's two little buggers hiding succinctly. There's two dudes, but there's also... Here he is. Look at him. Disgusting little rat he is. Where's the other one? There he is. They really are sneaky. Goblins are quite clever. They're quite cunning, aren't they? Goblins have a good cunning rating. They just don't have high intelligence. So, like, a goblin can copy what it sees, but it just doesn't really come up with much. They don't innovate. But they can adapt. You fucking arse hat. Fair play of the tables. I remember somebody in my class hated one of those lessons we had. We just moved all the tables to the sports hall. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> we, were just, we were horrible kids. If, like, a teacher turned up late, or worse, we didn't have a teacher assigned... We used to um, we used to move all the tables or trash the room. We used to we used to constantly. So at the end of lunch, our our homeroom teacher, our form teacher, would have to come in and take lunchtime register, and then we'd all go off and do our things. So just before the end of lunch, we used to take her table, and we used to carry it out the class. So there'd be like a little in one of where our classrooms were. You went up the stairs, and there's just this little kind of like open hub area mezzanine. And then all the classrooms were around the edge of this mezzanine. So we used to take her table and stuff and just put it outside. And we used to take down all like her pictures and shit. We used to stick them back up outside. And like, uh, I don't know. She like, she played along with it the first time and took registration from her desk. And then she realized that we were just like, it wasn't fun. We were just being dickheads and she, she stopped appreciating it. Ah, oh, man. I am so glad I'm not a teacher. Teachers do not get the respect they deserve in or outside of their profession. Like... Oh, Jesus! Ah! Oh, they blow up now! They blow up now. So that's a level 4 stone still. A little bit explodey, wasn't it? Hashtag Goblin Pride. <laughs> hmm, there's no need to point out my flaws like that. Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, I'm talking about the gobbos again. Ruin strewn precipice. You're not going to sell it like that. You should change your Zillow tags. Soft cotton. Hmm. Oh, look at those statues. Where does that lead? Where even am I? I'm looking this way. Oh, so these statues face out from here. Along the road. I kind of dropped off down the side, didn't I? I should have stayed a bit closer to the road. But I'm glad we went here. Oh. Oh my god, this looks like something out of Lord of the Rings. No wonder there's so many goblins. Hmm. I really want to know if I want to deal with that. I will touch this grace. I've never been to public school. Oh, really? Are you homeschooled? Oh. <sighs> By the way, I was just—I uh, was just a kid. I was just a angry little kid who was intelligent enough to be really annoying, but not smart enough to focus my anger into anything good. 
Oh, it's just going through a lot, having my upbringing. It's all easy in hindsight. Oh, so tired. Help! So tired. Hey. And that gave me a bleeding build up, even though I had a hundred percent. Oh Jesus! Hundred percent block. This is halfway between the dwarves and halfway between the elves, because they're mining upwards. It's the death gate cycle. Margaret Way, Tracy Hickman. Oh, there's a fourth one. Before they're hunted and freeze. I love all that echoing clanging noise as well. It's so cool. The audio here is great. La la la. That's when Mikey met Muay Thai. Yeah, actually, it kind of was. Mate, so many level fours. What are you going to do about it? Where are my crisps? I'm so hungry. That meats and vegetables. Not enough. Not enough. I want to lay some cheese over some paprika walker ma walker's max. Briefly pop it in a microwave. Down a lot. Oh, there's a singing uh, siren somewhere. Let's take care of these real quick. Golden Rune 5, Smithing Stone 4. Can I zoom in without activating her? Do I have a spyglass? I just want to take a look at her. She looks awesome. Did I never buy one? I could have sworn... It. What is this? A sacred tear? I could have sworn I had a spyglass once. Maybe someone else had it. <sighs> what is this? Celestial Dew. Where's the Church of Vows? Oh, never mind. I'll give you the old fashioned uh, glintstone hello. The old special. Oh, I don't have my shield equips. That explains a lot. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, how in love with this game am I today? Hey, kid Ludus. Hey, doing? It's a good thing I'm not on it for very long. Ah, oh, my coccyx. Ah. Hey, how are you doing, Isola? I'm making a lot of stupid mistakes. I'm not checking my uh, glintstone availability. I'm not checking whether I've got my shield equipped. I'm mostly just yawning. How are you? Hey, kid Ludens, how are you getting on, by the way? Standard stream then. Oh, sometimes I have a bit more. Oh, sometimes I have a bit more agency, but yeah. Um, I woke up a bit earlier than I normally do today. I'm just trying to 
slightly pull my sleeping pattern down a little bit. Because all those streams that were going long were just pushing me later and later. Uh, so I've been super tired all day as a result. Um, and we're taking it nice and easy today anyway. But how you doing, man? I don't know. Oh. Playing Elden in an hour, doing the uh, use what you get category. Oh! You have to pick up the first guns you see. I like that. <laughs> I like that drop. You're nice. Yo, guys, you all following uh, my boy Ayatollah? He's also a live streamer and an Elden Ring proficionado. He smashed the game a billion times. Knows all the shit. Does the challenges. I can, uh, I can Ashes of War. I've still got the crap ones equipped. I never uh, undid them. Now, it's those hanging bats up there that actually reach me far before she does. So, can I do a little bit of longo... Let's drink this real quick. Let's give him a long welcome from here and see how we feel about things. She don't give an F. She don't give an effing F. I had a quid for every time I do that. Everything you touch turns to gold, kid Ludens. Mm. Getting creative. Did I just use a... Sorry. Lots of quid people that for later. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. These things remind me of Mario Kart. I love using my magic to murder. It makes me feel powerful. Please be a level five. Level four. Level four. No worries. Ah! You sneaky little slut. Good thing on Mike, he had his uh, phalanx. Waiting, was it? not take any risks around here. Keeping my eyes open. Golden runes, thank you. Uh, wait, is there anything further down here? God. I don't even want to get into another dungeon right now. Especially like this. Oh dear, I'm kind of wasting those. I want some food. Anyway, how are you guys doing? How's your weekend? Well done for getting through the week, everyone. It is indeed Friday. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you, of course, for vibing along. Uh, I won't apologise for being tired and sleepy because we're having a tired and sleepy stream. Uh, but I do apologise for... Uh, zoning out and missing anyone in chat. I've actually gotten more tired since we've been playing. <laughs> so weird. I was feeling way more awake at the beginning. Oh, I don't know if that's true. up here yeah today's monday Ooh, don't say that. work was busy i'm glad i can chill are you still from home though yeah 
Yo, I'm glad it's over. I did 40 minutes just now. Oh, 40 minutes of what? Mushrooms. <laughs> Sorry, that's the wrong word. 40 minutes of marshmallows, I should say. <laughs> Ador Adorable's having a wild evening. Whoa! Adorable bought a kilogram of vegan uh, psychedelic mushrooms. Hey, Morgan. Hey there, Morgan Bay. Mm. I'm delicious, thank you. I wonder what they're saying. Do you reckon she's singing something deeply wonderful and deeply mournful? Oh, there's two of them. What are they? And you? Why is she being difficult to kill? A strip of white flesh. Why's it got to be a white thing? Golden runes, golden runes. Smoothing stone level three. Almost. One more five, please. What a wonderful game. That looks incredible down there. Holy shit. Well. Onwards and upwards. Be gone, fought. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Did a funny little turn around there. I can't even see where the next map waypoint is. But we're slowly unlocking these little chunks. So I've come up on the this side. As opposed to just continuing up this road. So we will check this road and double back up here and, you know, have some fun in here. Uh, you know, we're, we're going somewhere. Obviously, if we come across a boss, which I don't know. <laughs> hey, there we go. There we go. Why did I even mention it? <laughs> Why did I even let those words come out of my lips? The, sec <laughs> the second they came out of my lips, I summoned a, a veil to what I can only assume might be a boss fight. Uh, I was about to say, if we come across a boss or something that's a bit of a pain in the ass, we'll skip it. What we got? Oh no, it's just something wonderful. Oh, the music suggests it's a problem. Hello? I love the colours. Oh, it's some kind of rat. Ooh! It's a magma worm. Ah, oh, lovely. Oh, that was all my glint stone. That was all my glinty. Ah. 
Hmm. Okay. You should be able to get this first try. I'm saying this so that if you don't, we can laugh. Excuse me, in my defense, my first try, I had no more glintstone ability left and no health. And this is the official first try. You can do it, Mikey! Thank you so much, guys. He gonna die! Thank you for believing in me. Whose fault is that? Yours, isn't it? I'm glad you're finally taking responsibility, but... All right, let's go up here. Uh, let's use Magic Glinty. It's fairly potent. get the shield out like we can drop a few long rangers but then it gets a bit all up in my business doesn't it i love that it holds a sword it's also like a tailbone or something a glass cannon aficionado over here absolutely you're, you're absolutely right Ayatollah. i need to hit it stronger and faster and harder than ever before that's a very good point Ayatollah makes a great point Hit hard, don't hesitate. Glass cannon, Derek Bannon. Good lock on. Great lock on technique. Standing up! Failed. Here we are. Nice. Magma Worm Scale Sword. Lovely. He was just, he was getting bigger and angrier and standing up more and looking like a phase two demon. <laughs> and I'm just, <laughs> my entire thing is me just going. <laughs> go on, go, go on, please. <laughs> Get him. Did him. That's the power of glintstone. That's the power of magic. Ah, I god moded him indeed. Good job. Thank you very much. So close. Smashed him. Ah. And dragon heart. Oh, we can uh, swap those for things that I can't use in my current build. Lovely. Let's have a look at that sword. I suddenly like this game again. Ooh, Magma Worm Scale Sword. 
This uses oh magma guillotine. Oh, I could wield this. Wait a minute. Ew, it's covered in hairs. Ah. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. You know the transition from your old PC to the new PC? Uh, how you were reluctant, but when it happened, you could never go back? Unequip that whipper helmet and summon your mimic for that feeling again. Yeah? Do you think it's time? Do you think it's time for me to get Mimi? Is this... Are we going to have a moment of personal growth? Alright, which one's the best fashion, though? Oh, I like this. Oh, this is good. Mimic. Okay, I can't do it yet. We'll quick rest. Mimic copies your build. It'll also throw out all your spells for the same damage. Yeah, no, I think that's fantastic. Maybe if he changes helmets, he'll take less game damage, but he'll definitely take more fashion damage. Uh, what are you talking about? I look really good! This is lovely. This is like some kind of cosplay fantasy. I look like a character out of 4 Ragnarok. One of the cheap ones. Now's the time. We've entered Mimic Town. It's time to get down. Down to Mimic Town. I'd equip Roger's helmet for the extra 2% glinty. Ooh. Does it look as shiny as this, sir? That's a question. I completely forgot my character even had a face. It's been quite a while. You look, a bad, you look a bad Christmas decoration. That's not kind. Don't be like that. Now his outsides match his insides. Hey, thank you for understanding. Oh, bless you guys. I can finally be myself. Oh my god, I feel like I've been playing this game forever. Oh wow, we did it. Oh, we did it, did it! Back on the bright outside, the Altus Plateau. Oh, what a wonderful game. Oh, it's big broken up chunks of wagons. How many wagons are there? Here's some statues from Zelda Breath of the Wild. Okay, here's a question. Which game has better contextual world building? Elden Ring or Breath of the Wild? He doesn't know the context. To me. No, I don't. I know other people are playing this with their drawing tablets and <laughs> Dance Dance Revolution mats. I'm just like, where do I go? <laughs> uh, what do I do now? The important part is I'm enjoying it sometimes. I mean, this, it looks like a big troll from Breath of the Wild. Talk about Breath of the Wild. Ooh, did I just get ganked? Yeah, a little ganky, huh? Who are you, sir? Oh, they're little Godfreys. He's got that Godric energy. Where did everyone go? Levels, level five, level five smithing stone. Level five smithing stone, take me to my smithing home. Elden Ring, hands down, I swear on my man. Oh yeah, really? But Zelda was first, so there's some inspiration taken. 
I got a reminder from Nintendo. Tears of the Kingdom's out on May 12th. Ooh. Day one. Is that day one? Frame one purchase. Yeah, we're playing uh, God of War when it comes out. That's my only day one release game, but I'm really excited for it at the moment. Oh, la, la. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Lay out your arms, then. No matter. Well, I took you for no matter. It's lay out your arms. Strengthen my staff. Sorcery scaling 183. S rank intelligence. Which I've just lowered. But, uh, you know. Who's counting? Uh, let me, uh, let me swap out my, uh, weapons. This mace was particularly for one particular boss. Um, I was playing around with my holy swinger. What else have we got? Big halberd. These are like stabbing weapons, right? Uh, the Naginata was fun. I don't really look like much of a samurai anymore. We've kind of evolved away from my samurai vibes. Oh, Dragon Punch! Dragon Punch! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, guys, should I upgrade my Mimic? Uh, does anybody know if that's something I want to do? Or is the nature of the Mimic such that I shouldn't even bother upgrading it? Because it's only ever going to be me. 100%. Okay, brilliant. Greetings. So this, here for spirit tuning. this is why I never spirit tuned before in the game. It's because I knew that most of my summons were relatively low level. And I wanted to wait for something good. And I'm pretty sure this is what I was waiting for. Oh, there's something you should know. I need to warn you about something. Oh. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I'm taking away your imagine. thesaurus. How much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the grafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. Roderica of the synonyms. <laughs> yeah, good to know. Something wicked this way comes. Ghost glove wart. Okay, so what am I doing? What does this do to it? Mimic tear ashes plus one. Yeah. Plus three. Four. Five. Okay, mimic tear ashes plus five. And I... I, I I, that just makes it way better. Awesome. Um, she really said cacophony instead of noise. Yeah, yeah. So somewhere over here is some unspeakable evil that I'm not strong enough for. I mean, we'll, we'll have a look. I mean, there's the fingers. And in the other hall is just where people are a little bit more dead than alive. You know, that's that's what a circle looks like. Uh, over here. Is everyone still here? Hey. Yeah. Well, I see you found another great room. Mm. Wonderful. You are a worthy fellow tarnished indeed. Make the journey to the capital, Landell, that lies to the east of the Altus Plateau, at the foot of the Erd Tree. Oh, good. The two fingers will deny your passage no longer. You may be our best hope. Find your way to the Elden Ring, for we are tarnished. And we must answer the call of grace. Oh, he believes in me now. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. I didn't realize he was the useful person to talk to to tell me what to do next. I kind of just uh, never really know in this game. I just wander around. Make the journey. You are the tarnished. Oh, the doors are open. A being of such evil. Evil. Hello, ladies. Uh, rune arcs, scraps, weapons, armor, and things. Hello there. Hello there. Now the question is, whatever this is, 
Can I hit it with a, a glint blade? Stri no, I can't use my weapons here. I'm confident I do not have what it takes to fight this guy. But I've never let confidence be a problem. If you all know him back to you, you're pretty good. Ritual Rick, how you doing? And Awar Shadow. Hi guys, thank you very much for the follow. Awar, how you doing? And Rick, what's good? How are you, man? Now. Maybe. Maybe it's a creature of love. Hiding away in the library. In the library. Some creature. Combination of many other souls. Each one breathed in mourning. I would speak with thee. Who has sucked up a skeleton? Wait, is that different to the other dude? One sec, one sec. Hmm. One day I'm going to start a new game and I'm literally just going to attack every single NPC. Hello, sir. Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being. <gasps> He's got a son! upon life itself. Feared and despised by all. Oh no, is this what's left the of son, bro? Blessing. <sighs> Apparently not. He's been touched by Nurgle. But a lamb. A stranger to defilement. A stranger. Ignorant of your own ignorance. Ignorant of your own no, ignorance. No, me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. Um, your library's littered with corpses. Have you been killing all these people? Have you been sucking the souls out of all of these desiccated husks? Touched by Nurgle. You don't even know the limits of the lack of your limitations. Leave me be. Your ineptitude is not one to foul my quiet visitations. He sucked up all the corpse juice. I asked you not to disturb me. Oh yeah, sorry. Be thankful of the hot. And this man was in the intro trailer and named. Oh, he's the dung eater. I didn't expect the dung eater to be here. I thought he was maybe Sunbro, but. I don't know what happens to Sunbro. Like, obviously he dies in Dark Souls 1. Spoiler alert. But, like, I don't know what happens to Sunbro in Dark Souls 2. Maybe he comes back. Maybe by Dark Souls 3, he gets a horrible curse. And so he just hangs out here in uh, Elden. Every man dies. Not every man truly lives. Hmm. Okay. Fant that's fascinating that he's in here. Because he's one of the... He's one of the... Lords who picked up a fragment of the Elden Ring, right? Hmm. Okay. Now, let's GTFO. My favourite FO is GTFO. Uh, what am I doing? I'm still going up here, right? What was up here? Oh, yeah. Wait, so what's over here? I never went... Okay, guys, look. We're going to continue up here, but I never, I never went here where the horses were. So I'm going to hop on my own horse, and we're going to just jog up this road and take a quick look. Every man who witnesses that emote glimpses hell. Guys, does anybody know this fucking weird gif? It's like a video that went around on Twitter, and it's... It's for Simpsons. But every time a Simpsons character looks at another character, that character has a really weird still image of Homer on it. And whenever it goes back to the other character, then they have, like, transposed this really fucked up image of, like, a... I don't know, another Simpsons character. And it's just that, endlessly. Does anybody have any idea what I'm just trying to describe? It's like a fucking borderline creepy path. It's like a fucking secret video from another dimension trying to warn us about something. Name one Simpson meme that isn't weird. Yeah, but this is like that emote level of weird. Like it's got that emote style. It's 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 weird weird. Yeah, there's a little bit of dread. Yeah. 
Because it feels like I'm being sent a message, a warning message, but I can't decipher. It's so just like obscure. I've been trying to follow along with your uh, drawing tutorials, but I keep having issues with proportions. Primarily around the head and the hips and the legs. Or shadow. Uh, well, I wish you all the best. How the devil are you? And uh, all I can say is, uh, make sure you're doing full figure sketching. And don't be scared to look at real people. And uh, if you're having trouble with that ratio, you can always kind of go right down to basic bones and count out the number of heads. Even if it's just as an approximation. How many heads high to get down to the hips? How many hips high to get to the uh, waistline? There's loads of measuring guides and tools, which hopefully will be of some help to you. Uh, just getting those proportions down. Like, don't stress about it too much. You you genuinely just develop an eye for it, as long as you keep drawing a lot. <laughs> this is a lovely area. There's a dude over there. Is he hiding? Ah. This is all wonderful. Uh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Wake up, Mikey! Why? What have I done? What have I done, kid Ludens? I missed the start. Did you continue down the bridge where you left after you exited the upside tower? I did. I went to the very top. Uh, I tried fighting that godskin guy. Not really feeling it. <laughs> Not really feeling it. Died a bit. Uh, we, yeah, we went to the top and we picked up the um, half a sacred moon tier thing. And that was, that was great. That was very successful. And, uh, and yeah, here we are, man. Loving life. Loving it. Oh, is that one of those tanks? What is all this? That, did that tree just explode? Oh, Balliste! Hey, hey, Balliste. Maybe don't run in the front. Hey, hey, Balliste. Every one of you people's a cunt. This is some big flaming tank. I'd rather go have a flaming wank. People with sticks and fire brands. This guy here, he's got no hands. Over in his courtyard, a whole crowd. Big old tents and bad old shrouds. Ah, la 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 la. Go away, I just want to look. Go away, I'm just having a look. Yo, this is... Oh, this is fantastic! This is so cool. There's a dude over here. Ooh, dragon walk grease. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Lord. It's there somewhere. Another path leading to the foot of the earth tree. An ancient tunnel. Hmm. God, I love all these colours. Look, look how this sunlight just bangs in through here. Like, obviously this changes depending on the weather and the time of day. But the way they work, like highlighting all these gnarly roots. But then leaving all this kind of weird ancient cave temple shrine shit. I mean, it's, it's just visually an endless treat. Good God. Never played this game, but my favourite thing about it is the colour palette. Best earthy colours. I want to see Soulsborne. 
make a, an RPG where you have a party. Do you know what I mean? I'd love to see them try to make something more akin to a Final Fantasy game. Where you have a range of characters. It doesn't have to be as dialogue heavy as a Final Fantasy game. But I'd love to see the rich, insane amount of work they put into this environment. Into more of a party based adventure. Lost Grace discovered. I'm so relieved that her family was concerned. Hey, I know someone called Grace. Hoist medallion. In public. Oh. Ooh. Uh. Oh, yo, I can help you with Rani's quest line. I thought we completed Rani's quest line. This can only end well, it's going to go great. That's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, so is that just taking me wait? Oh, this is so good. This game is something else. Let's have a look where we came from. Never forget your roots. It's a lift! Yeah, I had no idea either. I thought like maybe a shimmering portal was going to open up in the middle. Oh, we have come a long way. Yo. We are proper up here now. Right. Yo, we just came all the way from down there. Smothered away in the mists. Is there no climbing back up? Is that a one-time deal? Come down. Just trying to go up some rocks. Hit. Oh, Jesus Christ! Just ignore him for a minute. Excuse me. I just want to enjoy the uh, view from back here. Wow. We have ghostly pennants hanging in the air. Giant burning golem archers and spearmen. Causeway to the Erd Tree that has a secret cave base. And another kingdom east of the plateau. This is so fucking awesome. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching along on YouTube. Click like, click subscribe, because we're going to be doing this in the next episode. Follow the playlist or join us live on twitch.tv forward slash Mikey Mega Mega. Peace.